Hi everybody, it is me, Jimin. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I haven't sat down to like play around with makeup and like talk to you girls in a minute. It's been a minute. It hasn't been a minute. It's, it's been like a week. I'm literally sitting at my makeup desk as I remove my makeup and I was like watching Totally Spice and I was like, you know what? I should just do it, get ready and look cunt. So first things first, I'm gonna start in by filling my eyebrow and I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty and I'm saying Rare Beauty products, I do like the foundation and everything is like really light, but they do not go well with other products. I feel like she just, I don't know what it is, the pigmentation or the formula in it, but their products only work great with each other. not other things is it only me or i don't know if you guys have seen total spice growing up but i wanted to be one of them bitches so bad like i wanted to be clover since forever but came to conclusion a couple of years later i'm a better bitch than clover so okay so it is time to go ahead and fill in my blonde eyebrow i, I had a cruella de vil down so if you guys had bleach eyebrow and you didn't know how to fill it in or would you like to know then this is for you biatches biatches Okay, you're not gonna believe this, but I'm so smacked right now. I'm so high right now. My concealer was literally right here and it looked around my whole room. Okay, so for my bleached eyebrow, I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer, which I'm actually obsessed with it. It's such a great full coverage concealer. I mean, it's only $6. You can find it at CVS, literally everywhere, TJ Maxx, Ultra. So what I like to do for my bleached brow is I like to get my concealer and I like to go on it and dab on it and just like cover up to make it one color. I'm gonna grab a spoolie brush like this. I'm using the JS7 brush at this moment and I'm just gonna grab and comb my hair through it first of all. Don't mind if the like don't mind if like any concealer gets around it. That's totally fine girl. We'll clean her up in a little bit. Girl this eyebrow Haney Sister Haney. So I go ahead and I already pre prime my eyelids so the eyeshadow can stick way better on it. And today I decided to play with the Masquerade Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. And let me tell you something. One of the best pigments that I have ever played with in my entire like makeup time that I know, it is Juvia's Palette. Like, as soon as you touch the brush and then when he touches my eyelid, the color just comes off like, Phew. hello. Hello, hello. This is such a pretty palette. Like, you cannot even lie. I'm looking at the colors in the monitor and I'm like, whoa, this is such a pretty palette. Okay, biatches, let the transformation begin. I'm just gonna grab my M506 brush and I'm gonna go ahead in with a color Chi or Chai. I don't know if I just pronounced it right. I'm sorry. Okay, a literal bitch right here on the block. I'm gonna come and put it on my brow. Mm hmm. There we go. Ooh Look how pretty this is. Like, look at this. Bitch. Hello. She said hello. By the way, am I the only one who's been obsessed with monochromatic eyeshadows lately? Like, girl, monochromatic eyeshadow is just like, it's just like simplicity is the key to an like and pussy. Okay. Okay, now that I'm done using that brush, I'm gonna hop on an M441 brush and I'm gonna go ahead in with the same color. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come and blend it and connect the top all the way to the back. Okay, don't judge me, bitch. And it looks like a little psychopathic rough bitch right now, but she's gonna come along. And when she comes along, you're gonna say, she's a woman. And now that I got a beautiful eye, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Just complimented already, bitch. Now for the other eye, I'm gonna go ahead and go dip into the color ma <laughs> Makeda, 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 Makeda. I'm gonna go ahead in with this color right here called Makeda. It's this like beautiful Daphne purple from Scooby Doo. Definitely. Hmm, coming along. I kind of like, I'm loving this color. You already know I'm gonna top it in with the red lip, so why have we been bothering? Come on, America. Come on. Red lip is just a movement. Red lip, you gotta be a bad bitch to pull off really well. Which is something that I am, obviously, but I'm just giving you a heads up for the rest of the people. You gotta be a bad bitch to pull a red lip. I'm a bad bitch, you can't kill me! Okay, so now to come and really give this wing the bad bitch alert that she needs. What I'm gonna do again, I'm gonna grab in my concealer and my for 10 brush. And I'm just gonna come and clean it up. 
I'm gonna snatch her up the way I snatch up my waist in the clubs. Thank you very much. So I'm just gonna go like that and bring her up and then just drag this downwards. Boop, 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 boop. Nickelodeon. And do you see another difference? Uh, baby, look at me. I look like a superhero. Oh my god. Hi, my name is Jimmy and I can be a superhero in any kind of way because I am stunning. Foundation today, I'm gonna go ahead and with my Huda Fox Stick foundation stick. Um, and it's so pretty. I got this at Sephora. I walked in and I was like, I'm just looking for a new foundation. I was like, let me just try something. And it turns out to be really nice. But the one thing I do not like about it, it's like really, really like matte so like if you are a person with like smile lines with me or you move your face a lot this foundation would be great for pictures because it give you that like photo vanish finish effect but if you wanted to go out in the club i wouldn't crazy suggest this one because if you talk a lot like me the smile lines on this crack asap by the way i'm in shade cheesecake 250g she has so i think she has over 40 shades and it's crazy and it's like fits my skin so beautifully it's like amazing this foundation retails for 39 dollars at sephora and at huda's website i believe did you guys know that huda sold her company okay, so up next it is time to conceal our face so i go with a lot of concealers to be ready okay i'm gonna go ahead with my hourglass concealer in the shade pearl and first i'm gonna go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes then on the other side and i'm also gonna grab my 16 hour camo concealer by elf in shade fair beige and i'm gonna come and put the center over here just to highlight me and give me that whoosh. And now with my M173 brush, I'm just gonna come and blend in the rest of the concealer and give me the porcelain doll effect that I deserve, that I desire. Blend it outwards and backwards like that. Guys, don't you love it? Like the transformation you get in between when like the foundation goes on. Okay, so where I see my real makeup transformation every time I do my makeup is as soon as I'm done with my foundation, and then when the contour blush goes on, I'm like, okay. And then the lipstick goes on, it's like, it's over. The pussy has arrived to the party. Okay, so now that I'm blended into perfection, because blend is the key to a beautiful beat, it is time to come and set my face to play so she doesn't move for like hours and hours and maybe after an orgy. I was at an orgy, mother. Was... For today's powder, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder in color translucent. And I've been obsessed with this powder. And I'm so upset right now. I don't have my powder brush because my friend, my best friend came over a couple of days ago to do makeup together. And he packed my brush in his makeup case. And I'm so upset because I love setting my face with a brush instead of a sponge. But, oh my god, that was a lot. But what can you do, right? What can you do? So, it is time to paint the canvas and turn to Picasso and turn this pussy into a million dollars, baby, because we're about to go to Hollywood. So now it is time to come and give the cheekbones that Aphrodite and Zeus himself supposed to be here, but the foundation a little cover her up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with my e.l.f. contouring palette because she being a holy grail but never fail since day one, bitch, since day motherfucking one. Now I'm going to grab an E4 brush by Morphe and I'm going to go in with these two shades right here back and forth. And I'm going to, oh my god, look at her. Look at her already coming to life. Like here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> I feel like I'll be a hot Mrs. Claus, don't you think? So here's a little contouring trick so your selfies, so your jawline can come more like ready to stab a bitch in the back in pictures when you're angled so what you like to do is get your contour brush and go from behind your ear this way like that and then come like that so you're look at this look at this transformer bitch embezzle to this face bitch okay now i'm gonna come ahead and browns browns brown anyway that word browns my face so it can make it more like everywhere and i can give you the central pay momentum i'll be talking for years and trust and believe when rona is not here and that wallet has gone up way hot high 
tire i'm gonna take it together to central pain we're gonna have the one i grab my milani bronzing shade suntan 03 and, and i'm gonna grab my morphe m527 brush and i'm just gonna come and apply it behind my contour and my eyebrows right here and just give me the momentum that she deserves this is how i'm gonna meet my fake husband on a rooftop i feel like i feel so cute every time i put a bronzer for like an anime character like huh, 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 huh. okay now that i have finished contouring and creating a circular beautiful tan illusion on my face with the bronzer it is time to come ahead and bring my quietness cute and all of the above. Time for blush, bitch. Let's wrap this up. It's winter. Face blush, I'm gonna use in a Touch Down on a Love Glow Cheek Palette, which I'm obsessed. And first, I'm gonna grab my Morphe M504 brush. And we're going in the shade Diamond Powder right here. And I'm just gonna go and give me the cute glow, but it's such a like natural shade i'm also gonna dip in with this shade super glow there we go mm -hmm. okay super glow is where she's at even the super glow also is like works i guess as a highlighter yeah oh my god can you see like the glow you also has oh my god Come through, bitch. Come the fuck through. Break the fifth wall. And you know me. And if you're a fan of me, then baby, then baby, never question yourself if you're wearing too much blush. Because guess what? You're never wearing too much blush. Like I said, because this foundation is so matte and satin finished, like every movement literally shows on your face. Like, Sometimes this foundation age you if you have a lot of wrinkles. So definitely not for an old bitch, okay? Just for a young bitch. I'm just gonna get my kabuki brush now and I'm gonna come and undust this off my cheek. But 100% old Tino shade. This foundation is for young bitches with no wrinkles because this foundation, every movement you make, it will crack. The movement will be on the foundation. Bitch, you will look like an 80 year old ass. But. I it's a great foundation, and Huda does have some cute stuff, but this foundation, it's just not for everybody, I believe. And that is my personal thoughts. Okay, so, and now it is time to come and do my favorite part of the day, and that is highlight. So, so the past almost month now, I've been obsessed, and I've been only using this for the past month to highlight my face, and it is the Lovecraft Beauty Highlighting Palette in shade Aura and Borealis, and I've been using the shade Aura with... Oh, it's just so pretty. Just wait for it. Ready? You're gonna be gagged. So I'm just gonna grab my M510 brush by Morphe. I'm gonna do like a little like this and look. Bitch. <laughs> Girl. Like, like. And the highlighter looks so pretty on my skin. It does not look tacky or anything. Just like. This is the glow within, honey. This is a natural glow. Like, oh. Mmm. And like the more I put, it doesn't get tacky. It just gets glowier and glowier. It's time to do a lipstick. So for lipstick today, I did so many colors. I feel like I want to throw a red on it. And because I have these colors, I think I'm going to throw a coral red. So I'm going to go ahead in with the L'Oreal Paris. And I love like designer lipsticks for some reason. I don't know why. It is the brand name or in me or something. But this L'Oreal lipstick where you can get literally at CVS or any Walgreens around you. It is such a beautiful true coral red. I'm obsessed. Just wait for it. Ready? Oh my god. And it's, it smells so good. Like I want to eat it. Like how pretty is this red? Isn't it so iconic? I feel like. Kind of like Snow White in it, but like kind of cuntier and sexier. Okay, but to really be cuntier and sexier right now is what I'm going to do is it's... We're going to top her this bitch up with some gloss, honey. Your bitches need some lip gloss because got a lot of bullshit stuck on your lips, okay? So for lip gloss today, I'm going to go ahead and use this lip gloss today by Stila in Shit Empowering. And because they both are such a 
and the, because they're both such an orangey color things the undertones it's gonna look so great and this has such a purple sparkle in it it is gonna ah just wait for it look oh my god oh my god look at this oh my god like oh, i'm ready to steal you your daddy sweetie and this is it about everybody for today's video i hope you enjoyed this transformation and i promise you i'm gonna be more often and active on youtube now i got back into the mood and i'll be putting myself into a schedule but i hope you enjoy guys this video and if you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you guys learned anything from this like crazy tutorial but if you guys love this video and if you do enjoy my company thank you so much for watching me just don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to join our family and without any further ado, I'm just gonna shut up and go smoke, take some selfies, and go to bed. And don't forget, I love you all so much. Stay true to yourself, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.